Ludon, yes, uh, this morning we're giving you a second look at traffic this morning. This time we're near the uh, intersection of Carmichael Road and Bloor Road. You may recall just last week the morning traffic team, we joined officers from the traffic division in the Prince Charles Drive area where they were out in full force to enforce road safety rules among drivers. I have with me again Sergeant Jerron Thompson from the Royal Bahamas Police Force who's giving some details about those efforts going on this morning in this area. Good morning, Officer Thompson. Uh, good morning to you. Good morning, Bahamas, again. All right, so tell us, uh, what are officers doing in this area this morning? Okay, as you can see, uh, right behind us, we have a yellow box junction. Um, this is one of our very busy intersections. Uh, we have persons that do not adhere uh, to the rules and regulations as it relates to the yellow box junction. Um, everyone try to um, just rush through this intersection, like sardines in the can, park tightly. Uh, we're here to make sure we have a, a smooth traffic flow so persons can get to work in a timely fashion and, in a, a more, and more importantly, in an orderly and safe fashion. I saw this morning as well, uh, you've uh, already had to engage several drivers uh, who have uh, uh, approached the box uh, in error. Again, remind drivers how they should properly use this junction. Yes, once you um, look ahead and you see that there's some congestion ahead of you, and even though you might have the green light, once you see that your vehicle might not be able to clearly clear that junction, do not proceed. Just remain stationary until you have enough space to proceed. Um, don't, uh, don't take it upon yourself to think you could go in the street and just block up the street. Um, we're fine for, for blocking or, or parking in a yellow uh, junction box. It is $300 and we are strictly enforcing that. Um, you can see there's a high volume of traffic that is traveling now and because of our presence, uh, we have a smooth transition of, of, um, of traffic. Um, under normal circumstances, this area would be highly congested where, where you wouldn't have a smooth traffic flow. But um, as much as we can, we'll try to see if we can get our officer at each of these yellow um, junction boxes so we can have smooth traffic flow so they can maintain the law and order. And then finally, uh, we know, of course, from our drone shot, uh, you may be able to see that several pedestrians are in this area as, as well. Um, what advice uh, do you give to, to pedestrians as they're making their way around? I know earlier we talked about properly crossing, uh, but is there any advice? I, I, I know the, the uh, S.M. McPherson School is right up the street, um, but is there any advice for those pedestrians? Yes, please um, stay on the sidewalks. Please utilize the sidewalks. There are many sidewalks in this area. Uh, please, please utilize the sidewalks, the pedestrian crossing. Um, you know, sometimes students, they take it, um, they, um, like the quorum, they, 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 they take their slow time to cross the streets. Uh, sometimes it's irritate drivers. Um, we just ask the motorists to bear with these uh, children because they are indeed children. And sometimes foolishness is born in the heart of a child. So um, don't allow that to annoy you. Uh, just, just look out for the pedestrians and we ask that parents teach their kids uh, to be respectful to motorists and people alike as they um, make their way to, uh, to school. So some great information there, uh, Officer Thompson. And then finally, uh, we want to advise residents coming from the uh, southwestern area. We know, of course, there was a serious traffic accident near Gladstone and Carmichael Road, and many uh, persons in the, in the area are still reporting some uh, interruption with uh, services, utility services, uh, specifically internet. And so uh, we spoke with a live earlier this morning who indicated that those uh, errors um, have effect, that accident rather affected their fiber optic line and they're working to correct that issue. So if you've experienced that, uh, be mindful of that issue. But of course, Ladon, uh, this is a, a busy area as you can see and we're hoping for, for drivers and pedestrians to make it to their various destinations safely and on time. Reporting back to you in studio.